I launched bookmarks. If you become a patron from now until September 16th, you will receive one of these in the mail along with a personalized letter from me. If you become a patron on any of the tiers, I have a whole video explaining it. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I make YouTube trends bookish. I make themed book recommendations and reading vlogs just like this one. And this month I am participating in the Among Us Readathon round two. I did not participate in round one but I've already gotten my TBR together so let's go over to the footage of that where I'll have a nice voiceover of me just going through the challenges. Hello, here is me picking the challenges for the Among Us Readathon. I went to their Twitter and got the password which was Saturn. Then I inputted it into the blog post that was provided and then had to take a quiz to see if I would be a crewmate or not. So I ended up doing that. So based on my results from the quiz, I got crewmate. And so that is where I went on the blog post and was able to get my challenges. So I ended up picking the Lime Crewmate because it only had three challenges and I thought I could read three books and it would be relatively easy and great for this reading vlog. So the challenges are to read a sequel or a standalone. I chose standalone and then we have choose a zodiac sign prompt from the list. So I had to click that. I am a Taurus. And then Fuel Engine is a book that features disability rep. So I went to the Zodiac sign prompt and mine was to read a book with a heart on the cover. And that is how I picked my challenges. So today I finished A Kind of Spark by L. McNichol, which was the book I read for the prompt to read a book with disability rep. This is Own Voices. It is by an actually autistic author and it is a middle grade about a girl named Addie who is autistic. I want to mention a trigger warning for ableism because our main character endures a lot of it. And so if you're not really looking to read a lot of ableism in a book, I wouldn't recommend this book for you if you're going through that. But I thought it was really great and I was actually gifted this by my friend Emma Novella and they have a great channel so I will link them down below as well as some own voices reviews of this book. A lot of autistic reviewers love this book and I thought it was great and I cannot wait to pick up the author's next book. This is about an 11 year old girl named Addie who learns about the witch trials in her town. This is set in the UK and it is by a UK author. And basically she is trying to get a memorial made for the witches that died in the witch trial and I thought this was a great story about neurodivergence and I really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend it if you are looking for this and like I said all the reviews will be down below. Now onto the rest of my TBR. I have Beyond the Gender Binary, which is one of the pocket change collectives. And this is for the challenge to read a book with a heart on the cover. This was so hard, but this was like the only one I could find. So you can see on the paper that there's a heart drawn. So that is the closest thing to a heart that I'm going to get. And the last book on my TBR is for the challenge to read a standalone or a sequel. I don't read series, so I am going with the standalone option. And this is Fat Chance Charlie Vega. And I have heard a lot of great things about this and I'm excited to read it. It is by a Latinx author. And so that is my TBR. This is probably the next book I'm going to start. Oh my God, I just threw the book. <laughs> when you're gonna pick up Call too many times Text back saying sorry I'm drunk Why do I even try? Argue in circles for hours Cause what else can we do?
Hello, welcome back to the vlog and I have some changes being made with my TBR and how I want to structure this vlog. I'm going to try and finish it out this week. Today is Monday the 23rd I believe and I am leaving for vacation on the 25th so I want this video to be done before I go on vacation. So I also have a change in my TBR and that is that I put down Fat Chance Charlie Vega. I just wasn't in the mood for it. I wasn't feeling it. I ended up picking up my arc of Both Sides Now by Peyton Thomas because it comes out tomorrow. I started it on Saturday, I believe, and I am buddy reading it with my friend Asher Reed, who is Reed with Reed on Book Talk and Bookstagram, and his links will be down below. So we are buddy reading it together, and I am very excited to read more of it. It's going really quickly, and I really enjoy Enjoy it. It is about a boy named Finch Kelly who is trans and he is also stealth at his school. His friend Jonah actually knows he's trans and they are in a debate club together and this is surrounding the national championships. This determines if he will get a scholarship to Georgetown University or not and he is weighing on that because his parents are not doing well financially and I really am enjoying this. It is such a different perspective and I love it so much because our main character is not set on his sexuality. At the current moment, he thinks that he is straight and likes girls, but he does have a crush on Jonah, but does not want to admit it. And that is not a spoiler because it is in the synopsis. The conflict in this book is that they are given the topic for the national debate, and it is whether or not trans people should be able to use the bathroom of their choice. And so Finch has to defend against that, and it is about him really trying to just handle everything and I am enjoying it so much. He wants to be the first trans congressman which is not feasible at all but it is a character flaw he has and I'm really hoping that he learns from it at the end because I have read Save the Cat. I don't know exactly how this book is going to happen. I have some predictions and I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. So this is for the challenge to read a standalone or a sequel and this is a standalone. I'll put some purchase links down below if you would like to buy it or just read more about it. I'm really enjoying it. And to end out the vlog, I am going to be reading Beyond the Gender Binary, one of the Pocket Jeans collectives, and then end out this video. So I will let you know my thoughts once I finish this up. And I think I'm going to try and play some Among Us in this vlog because I feel like that is just what I should do. So I'm gonna ask some friends maybe tonight or before I end the vlog if they want to play or I'll just go in a random server. <laughs>
got more into both sides now, reading it until one o'clock in the morning. I am almost 200 pages in, and as you can see here, I don't have too much left. It came out yesterday, and I'm really enjoying it. There's so many great conversations, and I relate to the main character a lot. He is talking a lot about how he doesn't love his own trans body, and I feel like that a lot of the time, and I could just relate to him so much when talking about dating, and I just am really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this and Reed is as well. So we are going to finish it up tonight. I'm hosting reading sprints tonight. So I am hoping to finish it up there. And I want to also read today Beyond the Gender Binary. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it, but I ended up finding it, which I was really glad about. So this will be my book for the challenge to read a book with a heart on the cover. So I will come back once both of these books are finished to wrap up this vlog. I have a busy day today. It's already two o'clock and I have just been trying to prep and make sure I have everything because I will be leaving for the train at 7.30 tomorrow and my flight is at 12 20 and then i'll be starting another vlog so i'm going to film a video and then get back into reading and hopefully finish this up in the next few hours and then i will read this probably for my sprints and then i will come back at the end to wrap this all up i don't know if i'm going to get a chance to play among us today but we'll see what happens <laughs> I did it. I finished both books and I'm going to talk about them very quickly to wrap up this video because I need to go to sleep. Um, really enjoyed this. I'm giving it a 4.5 star. I thought it was awesome and I really related to it and I did enjoy it. I thought it was really good. I don't really have any like thoughts that I could really talk about right now. Um, I feel like I've already kind of talked about it in this vlog, but I just really enjoyed this. Like I said, the link will be down below if you'd like to pick it up. I really, really enjoyed it. I just finished Beyond the Gender Binary, and I don't think I'm going to read it, but I really enjoyed it as an introduction to Beyond the Gender Binary. So throughout this book, 
the author actually debunks a lot of the questions that they get on their Instagram and I'll have their Instagram link down below. I really like following them and I really like the mission that they're on and all of the hate they get online is so horrible. It's really just breaking gender norms and if we want to progress as a society, I think that that is a big step. So I would recommend this if you are looking to read more about just gender non-conforming people or how you can be a better ally and how you can help yourself to deconstruct the gender norms that you were born with and I really like this because it does debunk a lot of myths and it was really great. So I had a really good reading month, I guess. So I had a pretty good reading month. I gave this a five star, I believe and I gave a 4.5 star to both sides now. Really enjoyed it. Please pick it up. I thought it was great. And then the last book was Beyond the Gender Binary. So I completed the Lime challenges for the Among Us readathon. Let me know if you participated and if you want to see more Among Us stuff, I actually have a video where I played Among Us while doing the Among Us book tag and it's probably my funniest video. I really enjoyed it so you can go and watch that after this one. Let me know what the best book you read this month was and I will see you on Monday with another video.